Boo. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm so sorry I was gone for so long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm here now. I'm here now, guys. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Sorry. Sorry. Steel. Steel, you are in fact first. Hello, hello, hello. Sheep. Hi, Reva. Hi. Hello. Super duper sorry. I started stream, ran to the bathroom, came back, Luna knocked over my drink, and then I had to clean that up. <laughs> ah, and then I had to get another drink. Uh, chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. But hey, we got drops. I believe. I believe we have drops. For the Honkai. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I also have codes for you guys. Let me grab those codes real quick. Let me grab those codes. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There you go. Let's pin those. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Okay. I hope you all are having a good, good day. Mm -hmm. uh, we are. Yes. <laughs> Hi, deity. Hello, everyone. We're here. We're good. We're gaming. We're gaming. Good morning. I. It's not. I. I woke up hours ago. In fact, I'm kind of eep. I'm kind of eep. Technically, it isn't morning. Fact. Facts here. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna move over here. Okay, look, gaming. <laughs> gaming. Um, I already went ahead and did the uh stuff. Oh my god, my brain brain lagged. Uh I already went ahead and did the trials. And claim that. Um, I also turned my jades into pulls, and obviously, I can't get any extra pulls from there. As for warps, I'm gonna pull for Juan May. I don't, I'm not, uh, Given I just got Fushuan, I don't think I'm gonna get Ronmei, you know? Like, I'm basically at, like, zero pity. <laughs> so, I'm just saying I don't know my odds here. But I am going to be pulling for Ronmei. I'm sorry to everyone who wants to see me pull Firefly, but... We're 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 gonna drop a ten. Hold on. Let me let me just see the actual number I'm at here. Literally zero. Literally zero. Literally zero. <laughs> no, I definitely Ron May's the best option for me here, which is why I'm going to be pulling for Ron May. Um Typically, I would try to pull for the new, you know, character, Firefly. Everyone wants Firefly. I get it. I, I understand. Ron May is my priority at the moment. So we're, we're dropping a 10. We're dropping a 10 right now. Obviously, I don't get her. But... Let's see. Not five, five, four. I meant okay. Misha, cool. Don't really care for Misha, but cool. And yeah, hi, 
Jesus. Welcome on in. Here, let me put the idol on. In. The one thing I look forward to? Growing up, of course. Uh. There is new, like, 2.3 content. We are in 2.3, right? That I, I named my title, right? If not, that's really awkward. Anyway, there is, like, Farewell Panacone. We are going to be getting to that trust. But not at the moment. I have been heavily neglecting my grind, my farm, for my characters. Specifically, my Acheron. I really do want to go and get the, uh... I have to fight the beetle. I don't want to fight the beetle, but I am. Shay, hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Hi. We're also going to move over to... My hype music. We're going to fight the fucking beetle. Hold on. I wish I could search friends. Wait. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Love! 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 Yes, hello! Hello! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you! Hi! Ow! Ow! Hold on, I get- I get you shout out! I get you shout out, and then I say hi! I- I can't multitask, who do you think I am? There we go. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone go follow Lab. Cartoon, cartoon. What I just showed you. Everyone go follow Lab. I love Lab. That's 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 my wifey right there. That's my wifey right there. Everyone please, everyone, everyone, please, 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 please go go follow little lavender witch i love them it says you were doing art i hope that was going well hello 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 hush hush thank you for the follow hi welcome on in welcome on in everyone lav thank you thank you thank you oh so super duper very much for trusting your lovely lovely community with mine uh sorry if you don't like honkai <laughs> I'm, I'm on the grind i'm sorry thank you hush and uh please live as well as everyone else coming from the raid if you need to go go get that after stream self-care in bestie mwah, mwah, mwah. uh go pee pee poo poo go get some water make sure you hydrate go take a shower go eat be sleepies make sure make sure you eat some good good foods yes 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 go take care of yourself everyone from the raid but mainly you lav good good work good good work yes poo poo so hard <laughs> You better. You better go break porcelain. <laughs> pee pee poo poo is so wild. Go pee pee poo poo. Uh, and everyone coming from the raid, hi, hello. I'm Barry. I'm a vegan vampire VTuber. That just means I only drink blood consensually, so you have nothing to worry about. I am a super duper variety streamer. I do Honkai Star Rail, Withering Waves. I do Overwatch, Fortnite, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the whole, the whole shebang. Uh, I will also do like. MMO games, really anything I'm interested in. I try to play as many horror games as possible, but I'm broke. <laughs> and we also do ASMR every single night as well. We we do everything here. But hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna give back to my painful fight with this beetle. Say bye to breathing. Loser, loser. 
sorry. I've I've been making too many like SpongeBob references recently. Relax. Hmm. Just May as well kill them all. Truly blessed me. Uh, stand still. Yeah, G Jesus. Yes. Hi. Hi. Are you free to play in Honkai? Yes. Naughty child. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. But uh, I'm I'm free to play in all of the I guess gotchas I play. Uh, to all the gotcha enjoyers, you might also ask if I plan to play the, uh, the new MiHoYo one. I, why, uh, I'm blanking. Why, why am I blanking so hard? Didi, you know. Go. You know the game. What's the game? Zenless. Yes, Zenless on Zero. I, I pre, I pre-registered. Uh, it all just depends. Take my hot, dirty prime. Yes, love. Thank you. Take my hot, dirty prime. Oh, I forgot I have text to speech. <laughs> all will be revealed in lunar flame. Love, love. Thank you for that prime for three months. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nap time. <laughs> May as well kill them all. I'm struggling. I'm taking my sweet ass time fighting him. I normally do this a lot faster. That is my fault. Oh. What do you want to know? <laughs> Fuck. I gotta go make food and get ready for work. Have fun. Yes, loser. Not I feel bad calling you loser, but that's literally your name. Thanks. You're too good to me. Just in time. Just a little something. Think have a good enough. day. I hope you all Thanks. have You're a good, good day. Time to say bye. Boom. I'm just getting some of the, uh, the daily grind out of the way, and then... Depending on time, I'm either gonna go into the new bit of story that's been released, or... Uh, the, the, uh... The weekly, the, uh, the thing, you know. Why am I blinking so hard today? Simulations. Oh, uh. I'll do simulations. <laughs> Goodness, Barry. What the fuck? That's better. Thanks. You're too good to me. No, everyone, get on that fishing grind. We love to fish. Down. <laughs> Naughty child. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Stand still. Oh my god, my black swan's dead. That's fine. Fishing Dugober. Oh my god. What the fuck happened? I've done this fight so many times. Time to say bye. Boom. What the fuck? Okay, so obviously we just fucking retreat. That's not going anywhere. What the fuck? 
What do you mean my current team is underpowered? They're max level! Oh, is it because I was missing one? Because I was using the support? That's weird. We're doing it again. I've done this fight so many times. Too good to me. Muki mentioned. Hi, Muki. Stand still. <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> I'm stealing your Jing Liu yet again. Time for a shot. Hmm. I'm okay. Stand down. No, it doesn't it doesn't deserve to be called the name. It's just fucking Beetle. Uh. <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. I don't know how it went so much the shit though. That was really weird. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. Naughty child. Nap time. Say bye to breathing. Later, moonlight. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. I wanted adventuring so bad, deity. Stop. That's better. Destiny's hand has truly <laughs> blessed me. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Stand still. Save it for your own skin. May as well kill them all. <laughs> I might have gone stupid dum dum on one of his little shield phases. I'm okay. You can't kill me. Stand down. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're all too will good be to be revealed. In lunar flame. We love getting characters without having to spend money. Blade of moonlight. Time for a shot. Yeah, I don't get low pity. I don't I don't get that That's luxury. Fine. Okay, That's I have to I have to be max pity to do a 50-50. It's so sad. <laughs> I'm okay. Ready for death. Fuck. <laughs> Stop. Please. Naughty child. Hmm. Good times. Never time to say bye. Yippee. Boom. Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> just just a little something. Think nothing of Raspberry. Hi. Your own skin. May as well kill them all. Be hi hi Rumi hi thank you for the hydrate <laughs> and the stretch I will I will stretch after this like fight Ooh. 
That's better. Destiny's no one hand has truly <laughs> blessed me. Say bye. Boom. Yippee. Murder all of the beetles. Hmm. Save it for your own skin. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're too good to me. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Oh my god, please. Yes. We did it! <laughs> okay. We go here, claim this, boom. We go here. Acheron traces. I don't... not that one. Oh my god, I have enough. Ha! Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, no! <laughs> God, not the simulated. Ah, uh, not the I don't want to do simulated. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, hold on. Eighty, 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 eighty light cones. I want to focus yours. We're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Okay, other than the traces, we have a fully done Acheron. Blessed. Let's go. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I really didn't want to do simulated, but guess we got to do simulated. <laughs> Not you. I don't know why I run to you. Okay. I remember the last time I was doing, not two, go up like one more. I was trying to get the like first time rewards from them all. 
And so now I need to make sure which ones I've done that with. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I could have just done that, huh? Ugh. Here, let me let me stand up. Let me stretch. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Uh, also, when it comes to me doing simulated, I pretty much, I think, got all of the, uh, Whatever they're called. Time to make a decision. <gasps> the things, you know, the things. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Netmarkers activated. Time for good old counterattack. The little perks, the the things. Yes, I. Uh, wow, my brain. These blessings. I think I pretty much got all of the blessings. Um, but in the chance to where one does pop up that I haven't done yet, I pick it regardless. Huh. Dang! Hello, hello, hello. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? Relax. Uh. What's your opinions on the Ash Mythic, by the way? I think it's ass. It's awful. Stand still. Netmarkers activated. Time for good old counterattack. Nap time. Ill fate descends. Not a Drix. Hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm Well, <laughs> it was a gamble. It's fine. Oh, ready for another? Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. Didn't hurt. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. 
Nap time. Stand still. <laughs> That's good, not a jix. I always like it when my baby bats are having a good day. They don't look happy. Do we still have the upper hand? Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I do hope I get Ron May. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Mind your manners. Ill fate descends. Uh, not a Drix. I've been doing good. Um, I kind of got this weird sickness. I wasn't sick. Nap time. Stand still. I wasn't sick. But I kind of went into this like coma. Where like I was just like sleeping all of the time. time it was really lie. weird. Uh and that that lasted for like a week. Uh, but we're like better now. We're we're streaming every day again. Um Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Next week, uh I'm taking off Wednesday because it is my dad's birthday and yeah, I'm just taking him out to dinner. Um, but I, I'm feeling better. Um, I'm awake. So like, that's, that's a good sign. It's always good if you're aware. I don't know. Sleeping's pretty great. What was that? <laughs> you know, I agree. Sleeping, sleeping is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping's pretty great. Um, in, in terms of ASMR, uh, for the, the Patreon, I, oh my god. I, I only have like five more minutes. Time to say bye. Boom. Commencing support. Ready for another? Relax. <laughs> Ill fate descends. Um, five more minutes of like uh, Time for good old ASMR to edit, and then I'm going to upload it. Uh, oftentimes it does take a minute to like properly process in in Patreon, but um. I, I'm gonna try to work on it a bit, uh, in between this stream and ASMR stream, like when this one ends. I fucking fucked up. But tomorrow I should be uploading that new ASMR video for you guys.
Hmm. They don't look happy to see Make us. Make a wish. Does that hurt? Echo, thank you for the lurky. Go get that yum yummy pizza. Looney. Time to say bye. Boom. The baby girl is in the room. I gave her some treats earlier. But like the bad treats that she doesn't like. They're good for her teefers. Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. Ready for another? Relax. Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. <laughs> Ill fate descends. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Fuck. door I love this song don't we all Drops on, right, guys? There's supposed to be drops. Relax. Yes, there Relax. are drops. Yippee, yippee. stick around for like two hours i think you get like 30 jade but hey listen jade is jade Thirty jade is 30 jade you know you know <laughs> it's the meme. They don't look happy Make a wish. Does that hurt? It's the meme. Ads will also be popping here in like a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, I'll I'll probably stretch. I'm I'm not. I don't really have to pee. 
But I'll probably do a little quick stretcheroo. Uh, while those ads pop, so you guys aren't, like, missing anything. Time to say bye. Boom. Are you still playing Overwatch? Yes, yes I am. I know I've been on- I've- I've- I've heavily been on the, uh, the gotcha grind. I know, thank you for the hydrate, not a dick. They're just really good, Nada Drix, okay? Holy fuck. Oh. Nap time. Stand still. I've, I've, I've just really been hooked on them. On the other hand, yes, I still am playing the, uh... The Overwatch, um... I've just- I've been really trying to get caught Time up on the bye. stories, man. I'm playing so many now. Uh, but... Hopefully in the stream... I don't know how much came out in 2.3. The update? I don't know how much story content came out, but... I plan to get through some of that. Um... And start getting my my daily grind back on, and then we got more woo wa as well. This week we got more woo wa, and uh, I think I have some quests to do, but like I'm all caught up on the story. Um. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. And then... And, and then it's just grinding there as well. So pretty soon, uh... There will be more, like, Overwatch in my, my stream schedules as well. Um... But, what, what's today? What's, what's today? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> today's, today's Wednesday. Now uh, let's see, get the curio. Yep. Uh, tomorrow we got more Overwatch 2 community games. Uh, so, yippee, yippee, yippee. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Um, we got Overwatch Community Games, and then Friday we got Withering Waves. Saturday we have Discord Anime Night and ASMR. And Sunday, we have uh, Spooky Sundays. Uh, I currently don't have a game for that yet. I, I am uh, broke. <laughs> but uh, I will I will look into a game. Maybe there's a new Chilla's Art game I haven't played yet. Uh, we'll go from there. I, I do need to do... Another world. So, Deity, what would you... What would you recommend? I don't think I have any more of the pulley thingies. The coins. What do you want ornaments for? I don't really... Uh. I don't- I- I- I technically already have my, like, Kafka, Black Swan, Nat, Acheron. I have them all. Here, let me put that ads message in chat for you guys real quick. They can be better. Okay. Here, hold on. I got- I got more of these than Deity. Deity, 
Will there be ASMR tonight? Yes, there will, Scully. Deity. I got more. I got more. I got more of these. I, I okay. Listen, Deity. I I ran the nine world once, once, and got this. Okay. Listen, I know they can be better because I just went and got the set. I was not stat farming, but now that I have multiple. Okay, now that I have multiple deity, okay, you can pick it out. You can pick it out, okay? Obvi okay, I get it. Boom. You can just tell I'm not good when- I'm not good. I'm not good at the actual, uh, stat- stats. That we got- we got two. We we got three. Don't bother min maxing. I don't really bother bother with min maxing, but like if I end up getting like a piece that's better, I might as well use that piece, you know. This this is another one. And we got we got this one. We got this one. You're saying this one's good. This one's better. This is the best one. Okay. Okay, now we get the ball, the spear. We have the spear. This is the spear I have now. Uh, the ball. This is the spear I have now. And then there's boom. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I never said I was lucky, deity. That's why I'm not a min maxer. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, just keep this. Okay. I don't think I have. I'm a liar. I do. I do have more Pioneer sets. I do have more Pioneer sets. Yes, yes. You know, well, well it's, it's fine. We, uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It, we're, uh, whatever. Oh, heavens. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Hi guys, welcome back from At Hell. Uh, I did a stretch, but I'm back. Hi, I'm here. Kind of walked around, moved around, hydrated. Peesh. Oh my god, I get to make my own fish emote one day. One day we could have our own fish emote. <laughs> uh, okay, here, we're gonna grab these. That's seven pulls. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, one day when we fund the rig. <laughs> um... So, Deity, what do you suggest I do? <laughs> I... I can start putting... sets on well <laughs> my fushuan <laughs> yeah <laughs> um let's see what do i have for you because i don't have your cone so I don't have uh, uh I mean I guess this one I guess that's like because I don't I don't even have Japards, which is fair. Um but like that works. That, that works. Uh, and then... Like, what? What would the... What would you even use? I don't... I don't know. Like, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Is it this one? Is it the disciples or whatever you would call this? Yeah. Um... Withering Guard. Man, I don't... Do I even have Withering Guard? <laughs> ah! I don't. I don't. In the bottom left? What do you mean in the bottom left? What do you mean? This? Yo! I knew that. I still don't see it. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I don't, I'm like, I don't even see, I don't even see a withering card. Okay, uh, well, do I...
Yeah, I have this, technically. <laughs> uh, do I have, uh... Okay, uh, hmm. <laughs> That's good. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, none of these really. Mm. Well, I guess fine. We just put that on. Yeah, where do I get that? Where do I get this one? Where do I get this one? I don't even know where I get this one. Where did I get this? Is it seven? It's probably seven. It's seven. Okay. We'll go to seven. We'll, go, we'll just go to seven. Yo, you got a treasure chest. Look at you. I know. <laughs> Anime fan. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Oh, don't worry. I have more saved. I I have more saved too. Don't don't worry. We have the upper hand. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I plan to. I kind of I, I I do like a uh What's it called? I I do I I go into like saving sprees <laughs> I I do I do saving batches Time to say bye Boom Ready for another You know, you know what I mean? Make a wish. Bitch, I press the button to attack you. This song, okay, the song itself, the lyrics, shitty, depressing, but it's so, like, vibey. I fuck with this. We love good pizza. Oh, I love mushrooms. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Net markers activated. Time for good old counterattack. They are fun guys. I love my fun guys. Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. 
Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun, fun guys. <laughs> Earl May Maya, hi! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Welcome on in. Oh, I'm not out of coins. I'm a liar. Not a drink's died from my joke. I love fun guys. I make that joke all the time. <laughs> Kenny, hello. Welcome on in. You're new here. Hi. Ready for another? Relax. Now. I'm okay. Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Lies an endless abyss. Sup. <laughs> Hello. They get excited when new people are here. <laughs> Ready for another? Relax. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> Occurrence. Fish. You guys love your fishing. It's valid. Fish all you like. Grind the fish. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. It has a leaderboard for a reason. Hop off. Time to say bye. Boom. Woo wah plus fish grind undefeated. Pop off on the fishing. I know you can get better fish than that. Do, 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 do. Herda. Okay. Thank you for the head pats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 
you know. Transaction. Did Barry do anything new yet? What? What do you mean? No, uh, not the 2.3, uh, like, Trailblaze story, no. Not yet. I was going to do that after this, uh, simulated. Hmm. They don't look happy to see us. Oh, but this... This... Ooh. Make a wish. I probably lose this. Dead ass. This deer does not like me. Ranch! Hello, hello, hello! Time to say bye. Boom. But yeah, I I haven't done the the new stuff yet. I haven't been sleeping well. I've been wanting to get a new mattress to see if, like, that's it. Like, I just... Eh, everything hurts. <laughs> everything just hurts. Like, I, I go to sleep and I wake up, like, sore. And I honestly think I just need a new mattress. I've, I've had the same mattress for... Too long, probably. Probably way too long. Like I'm sleeping well, like I'm 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 feeling like well rested. I just wake up really sore and like in pain. And I got a mattress topper thing, like a like two inch foam pad thing. I think it's called a mattress topper. Anyway, I got one of those. It hasn't really helped. And I I, I don't know, I think I just need a new mattress. But I don't like you know how expensive a new mattress is? Like, if you want to get a new mattress, like... Oh man, that, that's that's gonna be, like, like a thousand dollars. I don't have, like, a thousand dollars just to drop on a mattress. mattresses are and like how like you're supposed to change your mattress like what like every like five years or something like that like i don't you're supposed to change them frequently you're supposed to get new mattresses and like i don't fucking man i've had the same mattress for a while <laughs> where where did they go where did my where did my things go i had them i had them Okay. Uh, team. We are going to move over to the main story as of right now. Uh, the new story stuff that came out. Uh, farewell, Penacony. Mm 
I'm gonna clock out for this one. Yeah. I just, I want to make sure I get it done on stream and like get it done. So I'm all caught up and, and yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn the music. Oh my God. Not at 10 though. Didi, thank you for the lurky. Uh, so before I go into this door, I would just like to openly announce, for one, there are new codes. There are new codes pinned in the chat. They came out like yesterday or whatever, or, like last night. Um, get those codes, but I am going to be moving into the up most up-to-date story. I don't know how long it is. I don't really think it's too long just yet, but I am going to be doing these new story quests that are out so if you do not want to see that i would suggest lurking uh we do have drops on so you can get like jade and like uh xp items and stuff so stick around for those if you haven't yet it's it's free it helps me out it helps you out but yeah warning over we're, we're walking through this store no from your room and it really freaked me out am i dreaming you're not dreaming we're in the reverie hotel in the real world the order's dream is over let's go uh, even though it's been a day i still break into a sweat when i think about it our trailblazing expedition almost ended in Penacony. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was traumatized and too scared to even close my eyes. I thought if I fell asleep, I'd never wake up again. What happened to the Stellaron? The Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Penacony have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. Well, that's kind of good. Statement like the Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified Stellaron and came to a halt. After all, you can't just reveal the truth about the Order. Now, all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Everyone's waiting for you, so hurry up and pack. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Wait, Deity, is the title right? Are are we in 2.3? I think we're in 2.3. If not, that's going to be really awkward. Hi, March. <sighs> After all this craziness, nothing is better than staying safe in reality. Let's go meet up with others. Yeah, let's go. We've got some time before we board the ship, so let's catch up with everyone at Dream Jolt Hostelry. extravagant just like epsilon how was it did it live up to your dreamscape expectations 
You already asked that when we first got here. Yeah, and you said no back then. But after all this madness, I'd say you've grown fond of it. But just a heads up, you're still on the Bloodhound family's wanted list, so keep a low profile. And this time, it's Firefly in the picture, not Sam. That's got to be a whole new experience for you, right? Indeed. In Kafka's words, that's also a missing part of my life. Still, it'd be quite inconvenient if I can't move freely. Could you help me out, Silverwolf? I knew you'd say that. Don't worry. I've hacked all the systems and left no trace. Don't do anything that may draw attention, and don't talk with guards. They might recognize you. Keep these two points in mind, and you can go wherever you want, unbothered. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Miss Samuel. <laughs> I love this fake name. Now that we're done here in Panacone, what will you do in your free time? I hear the Genius Society is here. How about we go stir up some excitement? Well, you know, my script isn't over yet. I didn't bring you back to hear an answer like that. Don't worry. The script says that I'll experience three deaths, but also receive an unforgettable reward on the planet of festivities. How will I know if I don't try? All possibilities exist until the outcome actually happens. Right? Uh, do... Has... Ha, have any of you done this yet? The, the... The new quest line that's come out? Is it actually, like, a full, like, update? Or is it just kind of, like, a piece together, like, transitional state and it will only take like an hour or something you know like i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to time things out properly you may not realize it but you have a bad habit whenever you seem to be asking a question you've already made up your mind and no words will dissuade you anyway Kafka asked me to pass on this message. If you see anything fabulous in Penacony, get one for me too. Just swipe my card, you know the pin. <laughs> she didn't specify anything, but I guess she means a dress, coat, sunglasses, or something else. You know better about fashion than I do. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. There's tons of options at OT Mall. <gasps> Do you think she'll like trinkets? Like, uh, hair accessories or brooches? <laughs> Those sound more like something for young girls. Maybe you should keep them for yourself. Shinagawa! Hello, hello, hello! Blade didn't explicitly say it, but I think he was trying to say something like, Temptation will show up again in Panacone. Always so subtle with his words. Got it. He was just worried about me. Relax, Silver Wolf. You know me. I won't do anything crazy. I just want to wander around and see more of the world for myself. <gasps> I want to buy some oat cake rolls. I've had a cake roll every day since I arrived in Penacone, from the first day to the last. But today, I'll buy two and give you one. And if you don't like them, I'll enjoy double the pleasure. Or I can bring one to Kafka, as she never refuses. Or maybe I'll give it to Blade. He'll appreciate it. That's not written in the script, right? But as you see, I have added new footnotes to my destiny. I wasn't Welcome expecting to be Topaz. The family ambassadors are still inside making preparations, but 
The big boss hasn't arrived yet. It'll be a while before the conference starts, I'm afraid. Huh. Quite a spectacle. The family really knows how to make things look impressive. Jesus! I they would choose a more formal and low-key location for the conference. I didn't expect them to go with a luxury airship. About Thank you for the two biddies. I've asked around. This airship, named uh, the Radiant Felspar, belongs to the Alfalfa family. This conference between the IPC and the family will have a direct impact on Penacone's future. Such an important event should have been held as it... <sighs> well, somewhere secretive in the moment of morning dew. The atmosphere here... It doesn't feel serious enough. Hmm. If I'm right, this conference is probably just a prelude. Whoever organized it wants to assess the IPC G standards. Uh, Jesus, yeah. not the two cent. This influential figure either has their own ambitions and wants to reach a preliminary agreement, or they plan to put pressure on us to make us back off. is always so sharp, Director Topaz. And when the big boss arrives, please remind her to be cautious and watch out for any traps. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, but I don't think that will be necessary. When she's at the table, it's the others who need to be cautious. Just tell everyone on our team to stay focused on their tasks and not worry about the negotiations. Oh, got it. I'll do it right away. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Don't call Miss Jade Big Boss in front of her, or there will be serious consequences. I mean, really serious. Uh, uh, got it. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Director. I tripped and fell right here. What the fuck? What are you guys doing over here? I don't... Anyway. I don't know what that's telling me either. <laughs> You're telling me Numbi will chase down a chest? Numbi What are you doing, you little freak? I'm stuck. I'm okay. None of the important figures have arrived yet. Huh. Looks like the conference won't be starting for a while. It's such a bustling place. I think I'll take a little walk around. Hungry Numbi. Hmm. Food in the 
dream. Eh, shouldn't taste bad, right? Oh my god, toss an oat cake roll to Numbi. After eating the oat cake rolls, Numbi seems a bit uncomfortable. Ooh. Oops, not to your liking, huh? Oh, sorry. I'll treat you to a nice meal once we get back to reality. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting Numbi to be able to get in the dreamscape. I mean, I guess anyone could. It's just... Okay, Numbi. I did not know Numbi chased down chess. Jesus, did you guys hear that? I told you guys, it's storming. I don't know. How do I... Uh, yeah! Uh... Ah, there we go. <laughs> Um, man, I don't... I don't know. The boom and the... The boom? Yeah! Oh, can I have to move back over? Uh, I should probably the fucking oh, 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 go uh, uh, yeah. Yeah! Is that it? No way, man. There ain't no way. There ain't no way, man. Mm. 
Yes. <laughs> then, then, uh... Well, that didn't do it. Um... Oh! I'm actually just dumb. Oh my god. I thought I was trying to go the other way around. Holy shit. Wow. Not the punchies. Okay, Numbi. Hard work pays off. Holy shit. I need Topaz. I didn't know Numbi. I didn't know Nami did this. Sparkle. What are these? <clears throat> For your safety, please stay away from those objects. For my safety? Are these buttons something dangerous? Not exactly. Lately, there's been a prankster in the sweet dream who's been handing out strange button devices to anyone he meets. According to those involved, he said something like. Just press this button and all of Pentacony will explode. Luckily, no one believed him. Still, the Bloodhound family collected these buttons just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Hasn't anyone actually tried pressing it? What will happen if you press it? Hasn't anyone actually tried? Well, perhaps you don't know much about Pentacony? All the guests here have one thing in common. They're terrified of death. Anyway, the family will deal with these things. Please, kindly keep your distance. Greetings, madame. What can I do Madame. Hello. Could you tell me more about the Radiant Feldspar? I assume you are the ambassador of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. It's my honor to assist you. The Radiant Felspar is owned by Mr. Odie Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family. Mr. Alfalfa invested a significant amount in building this luxurious airship an Ember era ago, and it has been sailing across the 12 hours of the dreamscape ever since. Oh, so it's owned by old Odie himself. No wonder the ship is so lavishly decorated. Indeed, Mr. Alfalfa has impeccable taste. Only the most prestigious guests are invited by the Alfalfa family to board this airship. Please allow me to continue my introduction. The Radiant Felspar had been cruising over the Sea of Dreams in Pentacony for an entire Ember era. But its voyage was temporarily halted due to the recent reverberation reverberation <laughs> such a formal way of putting it you're really downplaying the whole thing skull the out thank you for the hydrate um i do both <laughs> um it's a, it's it, it's a little goofy haha -ha, funny um It, 
it's it's complicated for my normal stream like this one i'm using streamlabs um, for my ASMR streams, I use OBS, and the reason why I have it split like that is not on purpose. I am in the process of fully switching over to OBS, but I haven't set up my normal, uh, game stream stuff on normal OBS yet fully and like properly tested and worked everything out and stuff so uh we we're using streamlabs right now and then and then for my asmr i use normal obs but with enough time i will fully be over on obs fully It's okay, Damon. <laughs> Following the previous reverberation in the sweet dream, the radiant Felspar had to suspend its voyage temporarily. Thankfully, the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved. However, due to, well, certain special reasons, the Charmony Festival originally scheduled at the Panacone Grand Theater had to be temporarily postponed. So, Mr. Alfalfa suggested relocating the Charmony Festival to the Radiant Felspar, taking this opportunity to announce the resumption of the airship's voyage. Ah, well, that would meet the family's needs and also create momentum for Mr. Alfalfa himself. Quite fitting for a legendary tycoon like him. Thank you for explaining matters to me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, Hello? Scully, it is OBS is just 100% better. The reason why I didn't start off originally with OBS is because, um, I wanted a program that was easy to use and get set up. And at the time, OBS just didn't get the updates it currently now has. Uh, OBS is incredibly like easy to work around it looks good it's easy to mess with uh the layout of everything is good um it's just really good obs is just the better software to be honest um streamlabs runs into a lot of issues uh it, it takes up so much cpu my my streamlabs obs uh constantly it even though my system is fine like if i open up my task manager and i look at like my performance stuff all of my percentages are good nothing's being like capped out or stuttering but my stream labs will stutter insane um even now like if i look at my stream labs on the left of my screen it's like the audio level bars are like lagging they're not up to date like real time the video's stuttering and i have a good computer so i don't know what that's about but i don't have any of those issues when i use normal obs um you can also get plugins and stuff for OBS as well. You could do a lot of really cool, nice things with OBS. And I just like that program more. But really, it's up to you. The talent motivation department? Again? I internal review? Will it ever end? Uh, I'm working on a major project. I don't have time to squabble with you guys. I... The way I handled the Urillo case was approved by senior management, and all of the project logs and calls are complete. Can't you check on them yourselves? I just don't understand. Why are you so fixated on this minor case and constantly escalating it? I... Seriously, what's your purpose? Sounds exhausting. Thank you for the head pats, by the way. Hang up. In my opinion... You handled that project quite well. 
Jade. That's not a bad deal for the department. It's been a while, little Yelena. I've been looking forward to working with you. Never imagined this day would come so soon. Is there trouble? You can tell me anything. Just like old times. Ah, it's been a while, Madam Jade. I'm honored to have the opportunity to work with you. You're still so formal, aren't you? Forget about the hierarchy and treat me as your equal. No need for unnecessary titles like Madam. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it might take some time to get used to that. After all, you are a senior. Well, now that we're both members of the Ten Stone Hearts, I need you to be at your best. Especially since the upcoming negotiations... <laughs> the sags. The sags in as chat. As you are, I'm sure you've figured out the true purpose of this conference, right? I believe old Oti has taken it upon himself to test our limits before the official negotiations between the IPC and Panacone. That's true, and it works in our favor. Do you know why? If we can reach some sort of agreement with old Oti beforehand, and gauge our opponent's boundaries, our future negotiations will go much more smoothly. That's the obvious benefit. Yo! Exactly. And the hidden benefit is that as the head of the Alfalfa family, his actions suggest that the five lineages might not be as united as the Odes of Harmony would suggest. Why? Why? Okay. As long as the influence of Harmony hasn't completely permeated their core. Personal desires will always have their way. Thankfully, influential figures in Penacone haven't entirely suppressed their own desires. It's similar to the power struggles within the IPC. The supposed all-for-one philosophy shared by the five lineages. <laughs> it's just a slogan now that the Dream Master has gone. After the downfall of the Oak family, Old Oti's faction became the dominant force in Panacone. Even if we consider only the succession order, he's the longest serving and most senior among all the family heads. So where's the venturing? I need all of the sexy IPC people in one room. Mercadia, hello. Strategy. It's like playing a game of chess, where every move needs to be carefully thought out. Uh, guys, just to let you know, ads are going to be starting here in about a minute. Uh, I will take this time to BRB as I am doing active story things. And I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. Absolutely. The three steps of negotiation. Listen, test, and strike. That's what you taught me. Oh. Pretty clear. Although, you seem to have changed the order in the Yarilo case. <laughs> that was based on my personal experience. I apologize for interrupting your conversation, but the family head is ready to meet the ambassadors from the Strategic Investment Department. Okay, guys. Mwah. Mwah. I will be RB just real quick sees the ads will be starting any second now. I will leave you guys with some nice comfy lo-fi. Bye. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.
Hi, 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 hi. I'm back. Welcome back from Ad Hell, everyone. I went and used the bathroom. I did a nice little stretchy stretch. I would just like to take the time to say it is storming. We are two hours into the stream. Uh, I, I hope my power doesn't go out, but I would just like to announce not only to you guys, but to my mods as well, that uh, my power might go out. And if so, uh, stream's done. <laughs> So, yeah, 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 uh, but, um, my power shouldn't go out, so we should be good. I don't, I, I just, I just want to, uh, state that just, just in case, you know, and, uh, we, we continue the story, everyone, we continue, we continue. But I just wanted to say, uh, it's storming. My power might go out. Karumi, if it does, raid into somebody playing Honkai Star Rail. Preferably a VTuber and preferably with drops on. And yeah. That's it. <laughs> Time to get to work. Let's prepare ourselves and meet that esteemed supporting actor. Remember... Our goal is to create an opportunity for the IPC to enter Penacony. Aventurine has already made a small opening. And you and I, we're going to tear it wide open. Yeah. I know there's a chest. Damn. Okay. I uh, just got back nothing. Not a Jix. I mildly talked about it in my Discord. Welcome aboard my ship. Hello, Odie. Smart and charming ladies. Please have a seat. Let's have a pleasant conversation. Moonbee, I love you so much. <laughs> Welcome aboard, my dear ladies. Forgive me for any lack of attentiveness that might have led to a lengthy wait outside. No problem at all, Mr. Alfalfa. It's my honor to meet you in person. You may not be aware, but the book Odie Alfalfa, the biography, is a must-read for all strategic investment department employees. Bread. After all, to many, you are the legendary figure who single-handedly built the Penacony economy. Here, check this out, guys. I'm I'm a do a fish. I'm a do a fish. The rare berry fish. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. What am I gonna get, huh? 
Huh? Damn. So sad. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I expected no less from the ten stone hearts from the strategic investment department. You're definitely skilled in the art of conversation. I always enjoy talking to smart people because we don't have to beat around the bush. We can just get straight to the point instead. Since I invited you IPC ambassadors on board, I'm sure you've figured out the topic I'd like to discuss, yes? Are you calling me dumb? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Precisely. Those few words represent a terribly complicated situation indeed. Scully, it is currently 5 p.m. Uh, also, to anyone interested in my schedule, uh, specifically for the ASMR streams, uh, go over, like, on, on Twitch, there's a schedule tab that you can go to. It will put the time in your time. And you can see, like, what games I'm playing and, why. Like, yeah. Let's take that golden-haired guy who's not showing up, for example. <laughs> he put in great effort and almost got himself killed. But what was it all for? Wasn't it eventually to create an opportunity for you IPC to regain control of the precious Astana? <laughs> The wisdom and experience you've accumulated over ten Amber Eras are truly impressive. Let's assume your assumptions are correct, Mr. Alfalfa. How would you respond to the IPC's actions? I appreciate your composure, Miss Jade. You must have witnessed much in your worldly experiences. However, perhaps you don't know much about Penacony. <laughs> Old Oti won't sit idly by when faced with a greedy wolf. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. <laughs> then I'll be straightforward. I requested this meeting before the official conference to dissuade the Strategic Investment Department from trying to lay a finger on Penacony. If you back off now, you can make a smooth exit and prevent the IPC from losing face during more important negotiations. One of our P-45 executives was attacked and nearly killed in the dreamscape. The IPC can't simply ignore this incident. Moreover, considering the turbulence during mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. festival, Penacony's credibility has taken a hit in the public's eyes. Facts, facts. Despite your determined attitude, the issues plaguing Penacony are real, are they not? You use the term real, Miss Topaz, but let's not forget that this is the realm of dreams. If you want to succeed here, you need ambition and unconventional thinking. Curious about how I plan to respond to the IPC? Well, I don't mind sharing. My actions will help Panacony take a significant step forward by self-listing and going public. What was that? Going public. Hydrate. Stretch. I'm not mistaken. You want to bypass the IPC and go public on a okay. scale. Hold on, I hydrated, but let me stretch. Instead of watching the IPC gnaw away at Penacony, I'd prefer to open the doors of this sweet dream to the entire universe. Starting today, anyone in the cosmos can become a shareholder of the land of the dream. This is the path of harmony I'll choose. <laughs> Do 
This reform should have been implemented earlier, but unfortunately, the Oak family were a bunch of blockheads blinded by order. <laughs> Their level of intellectual flexibility doesn't even come close to an old fellow like me. Thanks to the little uh, reverberation earlier, the biggest obstacle between me and my reforms has been eliminated. <laughs> The Alfalfa family will publicize the financial results of Sweet Dream Paradise so that the entire universe can see that despite the catastrophe, Penacone still holds immense potential and opportunities and that the family remains confident in its future. Hmm. Crisis and opportunity are two sides of the same coin. So, you've been waiting for the right moment for Penacone to regain the spotlight. And if Penacone should seize this opportunity to overcome adversity, even if the IPC tries to intervene, every move we make will be scrutinized by trillions of people. <laughs> now I'm convinced that you've indeed familiarized yourself with my biography, Miss Jade. So... About your next move, please consider it carefully. Indeed. We need some time to digest such a wealth of information. I suggest we conclude the first half of our conference, Mr. Alfalfa. Please allow Topaz and me to confer privately for a few moments, and to respond on behalf of the IPC later. <laughs> of course. Take your time, dear lady. What's up, Blue? What's up, Bloon? Oh, the baby joined us. Oh! The Alfalfa family had a meeting with oh, the yeah, IPC. I got this information from a message sent by that IPC ambassador. He said it was to <laughs> return the favor. It's I not hard to, to imagine. Penacone today is pretty much like the frontier prison it once was, with external forces casting greedy eyes and the undercurrent of order lurking within. Instead of falling into a situation where they are plagued by both external and internal threats, Penacone would rather take a step back and invite the IPC to negotiate at the table, ostensibly to cooperate, but... In reality, Looney to secure more opportunities for their own survival. Come here, you silly butt. Well, no wonder Come here, you silly butt. Express. In your opinion, who should we stand behind? I don't think the followers of the Harmony are completely innocent victims in all of this. For reasons Come unknown, on. they have a strong desire to smooth things over, which leads to speculation about their motives. If either the family or IPC were to assume I have a loony baby it would return to its previous illusory dream of hedonism and the efforts of those previous nameless would once again go to waste There you are Did you rest well I didn't disturb you since you were in a deep sleep Please continue the topic. After Anna's dream was shattered, the family branch from the Montour arrived and swiftly took control of the situation. Most members of the Oak family fell unconscious, but fortunately, their lives were not in danger. <sighs> the mastermind behind the plans was confirmed to be Gopher Wood, the previous dream master. But by the time we arrived, he was dead already and what about sunday You'll, uh, face a trial as for further details uh, the family would rather not disclose them ultimately okay. the public perceived the incident as an attack by evil forces targeting the charmony festival they believe the family failed to safeguard the sweet dream significantly eroding their credibility in the process i mean fair 
style quite different from the truth. This appears to be the outcome with the least impact. After all, you don't know who's awake and who's pretending to be asleep. Well, they'll open their eyes in the face of danger. Once the danger subsides, they'll embrace the sweet dream again. Here's a toast with three glasses of glory of the trailblaze to all of you. Hell yeah. Hello again. Yeah, it's good to see you all again. Although we might be saying goodbye again after this reunion. But when will the Astral Express leave Fenicomi? We'll stay a bit longer, but not too long. So, this is our final meeting then? If this is a farewell, then it seems to be missing something. Alcohol! <laughs> Atmosphere? Ah, maybe a special drink to honor those who are not here. Let's see. The mixed drink should be solemn, dignified, and unique. As we'll use it to pay respect to those fallen heroes. To the nameless resting in peace. And to Gallagher. I got music. Do, 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 do. Let's claim this. Do I have anything? Oh, that's number eight. We might get another ten pull in this stream. Ready to mix or drink? Hell yeah. Before we start, uh, would you like to talk to your friends? We have plenty of time. No need. All right, as you wish. We party. Huh. I think I have an idea about what drink to make. Would you like it bitter or sweet? It's up to you. Choose the flavor that suits you best at this moment. I don't remember your eyes being so downturned. Uh, but sweet. Drowning sweetness. One of the most challenging drinks to make. A slight imbalance in the ingredients can result in an overwhelmingly viscous sweet taste. However... I don't like you saying drink, viscous. You get a uniquely sweet drink with a lingering aftertaste. Yeah. Not a bad choice. Let's start mixing. A mini wine glass. less ice you know i don't like that i'm a i'm a more ice girly the more ice the better it could be 99 percent ice two dream jams and one sweet milk cream with an origami bird. Words always fall short. If you want to bring closure to past events at this lounge, there's no better way than mixing a drink. Yeah. Blend all your memories and emotions together and stir them well. Through the filter of time, what remains in the glass is something to savor. Well, reach. Here's to the nameless resting in peace. And to my friend Gallagher. Where is he? The spirit of freedom will spread far <laughs> and wide among the stars. And its legacy will be more timeless than a pastoral song. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. And one day, our souls will return to the same place. Cheers. Cheers. I'm on the way. Oh, are you leaving? Well, then take this with you. 
Oh my god, is it gonna be a bottle of soul glad oh. I've mixed more of this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. So I hope it brings back the flavors of Panacone. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. Well does not care. <laughs> if you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. We will. All right, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take care of, so let's not dwell on things. Whether it's the Astral Express or Panacone, there's still a long journey ahead. So let's lift our spirits, guys, and embark towards our tomorrow. Old Oti is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed. He's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Oti Alfalfa he is today. I love hot women. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. What about the phone call I asked you to make, Topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Just as it should be. The sweet dew should be served after the bitter poison. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. <laughs> now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess I included myself in that remark too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Yeah. Yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset within the cosmos. With uh, good credit, lucrative potential, and uh, promising prospects. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is, this project is obviously too bland for your taste. Isn't it? <laughs> That's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Venturine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself to finish this gamble. Uh, are you not in the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your Jade Stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily, allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. <laughs> That's why I'm willing to stake my Topaz Stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, nothing can stop him. Not even fate. Well, at least he's still alive, and that's the best outcome. <laughs> Looks like uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? She's also here on the Radiant Felt's bar. Yo! Oh my god, she uses a whip. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> There's a good child. Do as you're told. Ah! Uh. I love women. Is that all? Hardly worth the bother. Not exactly eye catching. Yeah, 
yes scully have a good day thank you for you know being here and hanging out uh it has been over two hours so if you have been here since the beginning please make sure to claim your drops you do get free things we love free things and don't forget about the codes i also have uh pinned in chat Greetings, Miss Robin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Miss Jake? Greetings. The opening ceremony for the Charmony Festival has been moved to the Radiant Feldspar, so I'm here making some preparations. How about you? Have you spoken with Mr. Alfalfa? I'm actually on my way to meet him right now. Do you know him well, Miss Robin? Unfortunately, I've never met him. I've only heard a few comments from the former head of the Oak family. Mr. Alfalfa is respectable when it comes to business. But in other respects, I can't say the same. Hmm. Where do you think the future of the planet of festivities is headed? I believe the sweet dream will see its rebirth. Just like the Radiant Feldspar resumed its voyage. The Harmony needs a new direction. Only by bidding farewell to the past can we actually sail into the future. Preach! There are no permanent allies or everlasting enemies. So let's both take what we need from this deal. Naturally. I'm looking forward to your performance. See you at the festival. See you later, Miss Jade. Oh, I love her. God, that's so hot. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, Mr. Alfalfa. Let's continue our discussion. <laughs> Figured out something already, Miss Jade? Hmm. But where is Miss Topaz? Topaz has something else to take care of. You'll be seeing her later. Talks can still continue between the two of us. Is it just me, miss? Your tone sounds very different now. I need to set a good example for my junior. It's not a good habit to be too loose-lipped during negotiations, right? Now we can speak frankly and openly. Do you believe what I said, Odie? You're not the only merchant who has seen the changes in the cosmic market over the past ten Amber Eras. Interesting. <laughs> now that's interesting. Good. It's good to be straightforward. Openness and transparency are my things. So, tell me, what's your next move? Unfortunately, I'd like to speak the harsh truth before laying out my plan. Let's cut to the chase. First, your plan won't work. Henakoni has no way of sidestepping the IPC and going public. Second, you can't stop the IPC from entering Henakoni. We've got all the time and connections in the world to find a way in. We'll keep tearing down and rebuilding this place until the Asdana system gets used to the IPC's ways again. Now, I'm repeating your words exactly. If you don't want to be a laughingstock and have everyone gunning for you at the official conference, you'd better drop your little pie-in-the-sky plan. Oh, interesting. Indeed. I don't like you him. Really have a way with words. Now, I'm curious to know what you have up your sleeve. Mr. A whip. Apparently, Don't forget that the IPC controls the biggest interstellar publicity platform. More than half the news networks in the universe take their orders from us. The moment news spreads about Penacony going public, trillions of customers will immediately receive a message like this. 
The family's protection for Penacony has expired. Any mishaps in the dreamscape could result in permanent brain death. Care to guess how many ways we have to turn alfalfa credits into worthless junk within a measly 24 system hours? With the entire cosmos keeping a close eye on Penacony, I assure you, it won't be too hard. Do you really think you could pull that off? Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. However, if you agree to give up that half-baked plan to go public, the IPC will assure you that will never jeopardize the interests of the family heads under your leadership. After all, we also need allies here in Asdana. The IPC can assist Penacony with financing, starting by acquiring 30% equity shares. With our financial support, 30% and rebuilding Penacony will be a piece of cake. 30% equity, you say? Who can guarantee you won't want more? <laughs> That's the brilliant part of it all. The answer is simple. No one. There are no guarantees. It all hinges on self-awareness and mutual respect. However, the board of directors will consider the interests of the family heads to some extent. You're a smart merchant, old Odie. Isn't the whole purpose of this elaborate game to showcase your business acumen and seek more benefits for the family? It benefits us if we both take a step back. And if that's not enough for you, I'm pretty sure that another goal of making Penacony go public is to expand the influence of the Planet of Festivities and attract more customers. I understand your concern, and I have a solution for that, too. I don't like how blue, like, purpley her lips are, though. I don't know. As the head of the Alfalfa family, I don't think I have any reason to refuse your offer. However, as their chosen one, I still need one final answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. When I was a child, I heard the adults recite the tale of the ancient Amberera. About the ascension of Shipe, the Harmony, and the downfall of Enna, the Order. The Order and the Preservation used to be close in ancient times. So, why does the IPC, as a follower of the Amber Lord, seek collaboration with the family instead of aligning with the Order? The answer is simpler than you think. It's all about credits. Everyone's favorite thing and the universally recognized currency among the stars. The IPC has the power to perpetually ensure their value. With each <laughs> new world integrated into the credit system, the IPC adds another building block to its cause. Eventually, all exchanges, capital, and businesses will operate within a unified monetary system. Uh -huh. By then, all planetary developments will be recorded in accounts with well-defined values and the ability for exchange and circulation. And the heart of everything will be Klepot's credit. Ah, and then the IPC will be able to exert influence over everything. Our intention is to establish enduring preservation. So I'm sure you can understand. This universe doesn't need two types of order. Hmm. <laughs> well said. Now you've convinced me. All right. Tell me your solution. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Then let's continue our conversation. Please, Topaz. Invite Sweet Dew to join us at the table.
Thank you for your presence, Miss Himeko. Please allow me to introduce her to you, Mr. Alfalfa. This is Miss Himeko from the Astral Express, one of the future shareholders of Penacone. I've heard so much about you, Mr. Alfalfa. It's an honor to meet you as representative of the Astral Express. I'm so invested, guys. I'm so sorry. The navigator of the Astral Express. It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe everyone here is familiar with the general contents of the proposal. After this round of financing, the IPC is expected to hold 30% of Penacone's shares. Then, the IPC will transfer 5% of that stake to the Astral Express and recommend Miss Himeko as an independent director to honor the sacrifices and contributions made by the former Nameless to the Land of the Dreams. While this decision isn't finalized yet, we are honored that everyone here recognizes the way of the Trailblaze. While the Nameless didn't embark on their journeys for fame or fortune, if this is the wish of both the family and the IPC, I will represent the Astral Express and fulfill my duty as a member of the Board of Directors. The entire crew has agreed to assist in the reconstruction of Penacone. Beyond that, in our future travels, we are committed to bringing the beautiful dreams of the planet of festivities to more worlds. Of course, all cooperation is based on one premise. The path of harmony in Penacone must not be distorted again, and such a tragedy must never recur. Oh, achievements, achievements. That's nine. That's number nine. Yeah. Okay, we're so close. Just one more pull. We just need one more pull. Old OT is in agreement, so the issue is settled, I presume. What about the remaining family heads? They will soon realize the situation. When Old OT answered the last question, he represented more than just the Alfalfa family. When should we schedule the formal negotiations? I'll handle the arrangements. It's all up to you. I'll step back and let you handle the negotiations and take over. I won't be involved. Uh, but Miss Jade, this is... Aventurine initiated this case, and you were his project partner. If that kid hadn't overplayed his hand, I wouldn't have been pushed to the forefront. I came here today to help you sort out the toughest issue. I trust you'll be able to wrap things up quite nicely, little Yelena. Of course, there won't be any problems. And please, give Diamond my assurance. Don't worry. Diamond has always trusted us. I'll put in a good word for you, and you'll have your P-45 position back in no time. Radiant Feldspar. What a fantastic ship. And now that my business is done, it's time for me to indulge in my own little hobby. Ah, you want to open a Bon and Jade exchange branch on this ship too? <laughs> Opportunities like this don't come around often. Just look at the guests on this ship. They're surely holding a wealth of valuable treasures. Well, <laughs> I'll take my leave. A pawn shop can't run without a boss. See you around. You're hot. Oh, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Would you like to go to dinner? Bitter poison. I'm curious as to how you found this information. I didn't find the information. It came to me. It was from 
A lady concerned with the future of the Harmony. In return, I've agreed to help her with something. But that's for later. We can deal with it after we leave Penicone. You see, that's what investment is all about. The seeds of opportunity are already sown. They only need a little bit of nourishment to take root. And then after, all we need to do is wait patiently. Like right now, for example. It's just about time my final guest boarded the ship. Firefly time! That's a chest. Sneaking in was way easier than I thought. The family security is as lax as ever. So, this is the Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> so luxurious. A pawn shop that grants wishes. Is there really a place like that on the ship? I'll find out for myself if the rumors are true or not. I'm just saying. I don't know what those guys are getting up to, but it's freaky. It, it they. <laughs> it's freaky. Is that her? Yes, that that is her, the galactic baseballer. You know. Express is here too. AKA like your fandom like girlfriend. The Charmony Festival has really been postponed. What happened to Penacone? Hold on, I have things to collect. You don't understand. No danger detected. I need as many jade as possible. You see that? That's not enough jade. I need more jade. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you guys, you guys hate me for the amount of like power that I just have just like sitting there. Is Firefly good? Uh, I'm not pulling for Firefly, but I think I, I think the animations look really good. By the way, there's one more thing. Mr. Alfalfa and I discussed it. I'll present a gift to the Astral Express on behalf of the family as a token of gratitude for the Nameless's contributions to Penacony. Please help me with the necessary arrangements. Right away, Miss Robin. Can I ask you something? Oh, greetings, miss. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you know how to get to the pawn shop? Pawn shop? Ah, you must be talking about Lady Bonajade's place, right? I heard she offers uh, special services there. Mm. I've marked the pawn shop's location on your I website. could use a few special Please services. Lady Bonajade. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Was it from Silverwolf? Come to think of it, she disappeared after mentioning that she was going to meet with the Genius Society. Huh. I wonder how things turned out for her.
This way. Welcome to Bonnet Jade Exchange, Radiant Feldspar Branch. How should I address you, dear lady? Just call me Samuel. Samuel, nice name. So what do you need, Miss Samuel? And what are you willing to give up in return? I want to keep on living. And for that, I'm willing to give up everything I have. Everything you have? That's right. Everything. Miss Samuel, I think you'd best turn around. Seems you're not quite familiar with the term pawn. Um, though. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Oops. Um, Obama, in terms of actual gameplay. For Firefly, I I do think they are like one of the best characters in the game at the moment. Like for like AoE, like overall damage, really. Like I, I do think Firefly is like one of the best. <laughs> I mean it literally. I sense your burning desire to live, but unfortunately, you don't have anything of equal value to offer. <laughs> okay. A pawn shop that grants wishes. I see. It's just a marketing gimmick. Well, that's quite a harsh accusation. I understand you may not fully comprehend what I mean, but don't worry. I'll help you understand. Go and talk to these people. They're all customers of my pawn shop. See for yourself if their wishes have come true. Once you've done that, come back to me. I'll help you understand the true meaning of pawn and make you realize what you're missing. That Lady Bonajade feels more like a money lender rather than the owner of a pawn shop. Well, I've got nothing better to do anyway. I'll do as she says and see what happens. Up we go. <laughs> Yo, what is up, Stacy? You stupid little girl. Coming back to lose more money, huh? Why do you sound so... Let's talk. Let's get started. Mm. This will be our final game. I'm betting my entire fortune. Oh, a big talker, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see what you've got. What the fuck is this? I was literally just about to say what in the Candy Crush music. Origami Bird Clash is a match three battling... Is a match three battling game where you have to match and clear fruits within a certain number of moves and increase the origami's bird, origami bird's combat power. At the end of the turn, the system will calculate damage based on the combat power difference. If the opponent's HP is reduced to zero, you win. Listen, all I'm gonna say is there is a specific match three game with waifus and you're on a time limit and all i'm gonna say is i have quite a few hundred hours in that game so prepare to get your ass beat oh i Is, is is there a specific one that that's better?
Can this get off my screen? Oh, okay. I hope you don't like bananas. Mmm. 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 Motherfucker. Yeah, okay. Okay. I thought it was going to be more, uh... Intense than that. This can't be. You lost to me ten times in a row. How could I possibly lose to you at such a crucial moment? When? It's true. Lady Bonna Jade has truly blessed me. <laughs> Finally, my luck has turned for the better. Great new era for Stacy, the master gambler, has arrived. <laughs> Yo, can I play? Through the door we go! I've prepared a gift for you, Dorothy. Check this out. Whoa! What a beautiful necklace! Is it made of cymophane? It's stunning. How did you know I love jewelry made of cymophane? It has the same purple hue as the necklace my dad gave my mom. I've never told anyone about it. How did you find out, Del? I just so, guessed. So... Will... Will you go out with me? I will. Really? I mean, really? I never said yes before because I thought you had no idea what I liked. But this gift made me realize you were actually paying attention all along, trying to learn everything about me. So, yes, I will. Oh, wonderful. Love. My, my wish has actually come true. So, shall we go, Dorothy? Let's go outside and enjoy the stunning views of the 12 hours. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Aww. Love. Aww. Ah, just like the gold diggers. Couldn't be me. one outside don't look around just focus on your drink seriously they look like a total lunatic is that her yeah you heard right we've got him He's been hiding at the moment of Sol and Pinnaconi, using a fake identity. And he even poses as a professor at Paperfold Academy. I've made a deal with the family. I'll leave the extradition-related paperwork to you. How'd I find him? Well, let's just say I had some help from an influential figure. Don't ask for the details. 22 years. Yeah. 22 years of chasing this guy all over the cosmos. You know, never thought it'd end up like this. Right here. I'm gonna hang up for now, partner. I need to raise a glass to myself. Oh, 
of their wishes actually did come true. <laughs> but I just don't understand. How did she do it? And what does Pawn really mean? I should go back and ask. <laughs> chirp, chirp. <laughs> Gummy bird. Hey, little birdie. Come on. Oh, calm down already. Everyone's staring at you. Not a Drix. Not a Drix. Not a Drix. Happy birthday! Happy date of birth, not a Drix. Uh, I would, am quickly just going to take a second to uh, stretch and kind of BRB. Um, and I will be right back. I don't want you guys to miss out on the story for all the people who are stuck in ads. So, mwah, a BRB, okay? Okay.
Not a Drix. <laughs> you can fish. You can literally fish while while I'm gaming. You can All ass. Listen, I'm a hundred and twenty one. I I'm not one to talk. Yes, not a trick. Have have a good day. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be here for ASMR, but if you do, uh, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a special trigger, redeem for you or something. Oh. Special like slurps. It depends. Just like a just like a free redeem. Free redeem. Aw. Aw. Oh shit! I forgot to unmute it. Oops. Oopsie, oopsie. Puzzle. Puzzle. Ah. You can't just tempt me with the puzzle icon and then not let me do puzzle. So you're back, Miss Samuel. Yeah. I found those people. And it seems their wishes did come true after visiting the Bonajade Exchange. But I'm not sure... No, it's not see. about puzzles at all. They all seem to be living... fulfilled lives. Not so fast. This step was just to show you that the Bonajade Exchange is genuine. That I had the power to grant their wishes. And now, I'll tell you the price they paid. Del was from a wealthy family. He was head over heels for Dorothy and wanted to win her heart. So he made a deal with me. He put up his entire fortune in exchange for a gift that would impress Dorothy. It was a piece of cake for me, thanks to my IPC connections. However, Dell will soon find himself evicted from the dreamscape because he can't afford his room. Whether he can bounce back from poverty, well, that depends on him. Let's just hope that Necklace will keep the relationship from crumbling. Oh. Then there's Stacy, a lady with a gambling addiction. She wanted some serious luck, but she had nothing to offer, so I took something else instead. I took away all her close relationships. Damn. From the moment she stepped out of the Bonajade Exchange, every casino in the cosmos would remember her name. 
but her parents and siblings would sever ties with her. And it would be impossible for Stacy to make any real friends again. She will accrue a vast wealth due to her good luck, but she'll never be able to use it for the people who truly matter to her. Damn! As for Detective Walker, he spent two decades chasing down a wanted criminal for some heinous crime. But he never caught the guy. In his desperation, he came to me. He offered his own memory system as collateral. In due time, his memories as a detective will be erased, and he will completely forget his own identity and all the sacrifices he has made. Also, damn. Don't you think? I fulfill people's desires and grant them favors, and soon they come back to me with even greater desires. When people see others' desires get fulfilled, they develop their own desires. It seems like an endless cycle, but it does have a goal. In the end, I will get what I desire from this whirlpool. And patience happens to be one of my greatest strengths. So now, do you understand what you must give up, Miss Samuel? Or should I address you as... Firefly. AR two six seven oh, one zero. Damn. A remnant of Glamot's iron cavalry. Hmm. I'm not surprised. You are much calmer than I expected. <laughs> Entropy loss syndrome. Truly an unjust misfortune, isn't it? The higher-ups in Glamoth implemented such a failsafe within the genes of their warriors. Just to make sure the Republic's most powerful weapons wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. As for the price, those Iron Cavalries weren't exactly seen as regular, independent humans. So there wasn't really a price to be paid. Aww. However, you are different. You're now a Stellaron hunter, a living being named Firefly. Naturally, you want to continue your existence, but with the Firmament Front gone, the people who know the secret and can cure the disease are nowhere to be found. Are you suggesting that the IPC has a remedy? Well, there might be a silver lining. That's all I can say for now. I see. It's no wonder you said I can't provide anything of equal value. Because nothing I own holds any meaning. So, you're going to ask me to personally restrain my partners to ensure my own survival? Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. Partners, a nice way to put it. Now I'm even more curious about the Stellaron Hunters. Each of you has your own identity and a special bond with each other. It's strong and intimate, and yet it allows for independence. Just as the Ten Stonehearts follow Diamond, you follow your own leader. I wonder what they are like, and if all Stellaron Hunters are like you. Traveling on the path of finality, but struggling against your destiny. Attempting to move in the opposite direction. I really hope that one day, all of you will come and visit my pawn shop. I'll be waiting patiently for that day. Can I see this as an invitation? From Diamond to the Stellaron Hunters while keeping the IPC in the dark? Consider it more of a personal offer from myself. It doesn't represent the IPC or the Strategic Investment Department. The Fishy. Hunters have interacted with the IPC, but not the Ten Stonehearts. Our paths have never crossed. As for your offer, I can pass it along to my partners. But I have a question. You know who I am. And you must know that my partner is keeping an eye on this room. If she wanted to, she could let the entirety of Pierpoint know about it within a few mere seconds. 
What drives you to take such a risk? And extend this invitation on behalf of Diamond? Even if it could lead to your downfall? Simply put... You and I are the same. However, unlike you Stellaron Hunters or the Astral Express, we band together merely to obtain what we want. Each of us has our own past and destined ends. And on this journey... Yo, is that official? ...invited by Diamond <laughs> to join him. This journey could be either brief or long, as each of us carries a void in our hearts that can only be filled from the outside. So, Diamond made us a promise. To divide the power of the Emanator of Preservation into ten pieces, and give each of us a cornerstone to fill that void. Mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. For without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. So, you understand? This pledge goes beyond a mere... Yes, Raspberry, have a good day. Thank you for being here. ...in exchange for opportunities, wealth, survival, and a future. And whatever we gain from it will fortify the stone hearts in return, allowing us to achieve the great cause of the preservation when the war among the eons eventually comes. <laughs> I understand. Take your time, child. You don't need to give me an immediate answer. Like I said, patience is one of my greatest strengths. If fate turns that page, our paths will cross again. It's a shame, though, that this pawn shop can't give me what I desire. My last attempt in Penna County. <laughs> well, it ends with hope. Lady Bonajade? I've come to deliver the collaterals promised. Turns out, the meeting to decide the future of Penacony went much smoother than expected. With little debate. The Charmony Festival's opening ceremony is starting soon. I should head down and take a look. This airship has quite a few treasures, a bountiful harvest, Oh my god, I love Stella so much. <laughs> Can I go do the puzzle now? Fuck! Oh. Hi, Dr. Ratio. I don't know how I didn't see you there before. Ugh. Take you out with just one shot whenever I choose. Oh, hey, it's adventuring. <laughs> oh, that'd be my honor. Don't worry, I hate cheating on the table. <laughs> you better. Ah, look who's here. The great hero of the Astral Express. The most dazzling trailblazer in all of Penacony. Oh, you're here too. <laughs> Long time no see, friend. Yeah. Do you always compliment everyone you meet adventuring? Merely a greeting of platitudes. As long as you and I have an understanding. Well, let's set aside those under the table dealings for now, partner. Don't want to spoil the festive mood of the Charmony Festival. Oh, I agree. Now let's congratulate Miss Trailblazer. I hear the family intends to thank the crew at the Charmony Festival. Uh, it's a real pity I can't personally be there to witness this. I hope you guys find. I hope you guys have fun at the festival. And I also hope you enjoy yourself, great hero of Pinaconi. <laughs> I'll pass. But I 
do hope you guys have fun. If you don't mind, let's play a few rounds next time. Knowledge. I don't know, I thought maybe something different might happen because I was climbing up there. Ah, yes. I remember you. Your performance at Herta's space station was... adequate, I suppose. Damn. No wonder that gambler likes you so much. I didn't know you were here, too. The Intelligentsia Guild assigned me to be an... Invigilator for the IPC's ambassadors. Nothing more than an errand from the Office of Academic Affairs. Very well. The Charmony Festival is about to commence soon. Uh, take advantage of this unique opportunity. A blend of work and play is essential for superior knowledge absorption. I hope you have fun. Then you'll excuse me. Damn. Let me through. Let me through. Topaz, thigh paths. Hello. Well, if it isn't my old friend, it hasn't been long, and yet here we are again. <laughs> How are you? I missed you. Life is as wonderful as ever. <laughs> That's what I thought. I heard you guys pulled off a big stunt, cutting down the Oak family in one fell swoop. <sighs> Such a pity I couldn't be there, or else I would have lent a helping hand. Look how bustling this ship is. Not bad. Bustling. I don't really hear that word often. I plan to host a grand party on my eco ship, and you'll all be on the guest list. Yippee! Are you also able to transform yourself? Form? What are you saying? Oh, I, I understand now. You're referring to Aventurine's cornerstone, right? <sighs> Sorry. Compared to him, my ability is not as... visual. Damn. Guess there is no harm telling you. The abilities of the Ten Stone Hearts' as cornerstones are all different. Some can even read your thoughts, grasp your desires. So, be careful. <sighs> Now that I think about it, it was good that Branya got there when she didn't, Bellabog. <laughs> if she came any later, we probably wouldn't have ended up as friends. Oh. Uh. I love her so much. I really... <laughs> I really wish I got... <laughs> Topaz. Hey, to the Bona Jade Exchange. What should I call What's it? What's up? Uh. Damn, I wanted to say the Galactic Baseballer. What a unique name. So, miss. What do you wish for? And what are you willing to sacrifice for it? Uh, I want to be the CEO of the IPC. Oh, this is your wish. 
Echo, thank you for the lurky. Lady Bonajade doesn't even blink. You're guessing sense she doesn't have any sense of humor. Very pragmatic. Then let's discuss the cost. I'm listening. To fulfill this wish. The thing I need is simple. The tail of an animal. Sounds easy enough. What animal? Well, it's a two-legged animal. Two-legged. Black fur. Black fur. Head, and long ears. It's omnivorous and is prone to mood swings. Most importantly, it has mastered the human language and can communicate. That sounds like Luna. Bring its tail to me as collateral, <laughs> and your dreams will come true. It seems that Lady Bonajade is not without a sense of humor. You have to admit her skill in using dark humor is superior to your yours. Hopefully there are scissors on the express. May fate bring us together again, Miss Trailblazer. I mean, I could still easily do that. Chest. Oh. Yo. I get all the birds. I'm so good. to collect everything guys you don't understand Okay. Oh, I don't like them. They're all blue. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have touched that. Ah, uh, how do I get you over there? How do I get you over there? I don't know how to get you over there. I have no idea how to get you over there. <laughs> um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Ah! Hmm. 
Aha! Aha! I'm so smart! Oh shit, there's more though. Yeah! Let's go! Smirkin' Urchin! Hello, hello, hello! How do I get down? Oh wait, I didn't- I didn't go this way. I didn't go this way. Huh. It actually just didn't matter. I'm doing good. I hope you are doing. I hope you were doing good, yo. Yeah. I did these. They're the ones I've completed. That's so neat. Okay, well, bye. What services do you God darn it. Not me saying darn it. Do 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 do. Yippee, now we're free. Whatever. I wanted to get the bird. Ew. What are you doing on the ship? Uh, fuck. I'm so close to getting that last pull, guys. I need it. I don't care. Yeah, bye. Bye. The festival hasn't started. Let's take a quick break. Hi. We meet again. <gasps> Who's that? Damn. It's really you. I knew I didn't get the wrong person. You saw me? Yeah. The chance to say hello. There's still some time before the Charmony Festival starts. Do you want to chat? You walk and talk with Firefly, stopping in your tracks when more comes Some into view. Cases, a showdown with the IPC's ambassadors, the legacy of the nameless, and a remnant of the order who wishes to replace an eon created paradise with a dream. You guys even ended up shattering the dream. <laughs> it's truly been quite a vacation. It's a good thing that you guys managed to overcome all those difficult problems. Congratulations! After the Charmony Festival's opening, will you guys be leaving again? But, uh, I I'm, I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. Sorry if I didn't reply to that. I hope you all are doing well. I'm, I am starting to get EP. I'm still getting EP pretty early, which I guess is, like, kind of good, kind of bad. Uh... Just tired, a bit hungry, you know, the usual. I don't know where our next destination will be. There will always be somewhere. After all, you guys are on the path of the Trailblaze. Before joining the Stellaron Hunters, 
Elio told me that this journey will tell me how to live on. That's all he said. As for the rest, it's up to me to find out. So, I'll pay extra attention to any leads that will let me live on. <laughs> this trip to Pentagoni is no different. No wonder you were interested in investigating the watchmaker. Sadly, I was looking in the wrong place. But I did reap some rewards. Do you know Miss Jade from the IPC Strategic Investment Department? Bonage Hate Exchange belongs to her. She told me her price. But... Did you take the deal? No. But what she wanted wasn't my answer either. Of course, I want to live on. But what fate owes me, I want it paid back, not passed on. No one else should be involved because this is a grudge between me and fate. Speaking of which, actually, I feel that I still owe you a formal apology for that matter with the performer of the Iris family. Even the smallest of lies can turn into a betrayal as sharp as a blade. I'm sorry. No problem, you've already apologized. It was an emergency. I never had the chance to formally apologize to you. And admittedly, I was the one to blame. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. It's that girl! Get moving! Arrest that criminal before the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony starts! I can't believe they chased me this far. Looks like we have to say our goodbyes. Don't worry about me. Just go and enjoy the ceremony. The script Damn. hasn't reached its end yet. We will meet again. Okay. I hope she's okay. But if it's only those two hounds again, she'll probably be fine. True. I'll send a message later to check in on her. Let's go attend the Charmony Festival first. Man, they're freaking me out. They're freaking me out, man. They make me uncomfy. I don't know what they're doing in that pool, but I don't like it. Let's take a seat. Everything is settled, but there's still some time left. Maybe I should take a walk. I just sat down. Oh, to wait for the opening. <laughs> Forget it. I've done enough walking around already. Let's take a seat and rest for a while. Facts. Looks like I don't have to worry about her. Let's wait for the opening ceremony to start. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yippee! Hey, Miss Robin. Hey, Miss Robin. Hey, over here, Miss Robin. Hey, Man, who was saying that? I need to know who was saying that. Distinguished guests, fellow family members, ladies, gentlemen, and friends from all over the cosmos. It's a pleasure to join you all in celebrating the grandest ceremony of the Amber Era, the Charmony Festival. Firstly, on behalf of the Penaconi family's five major lineages, and on behalf 
myself. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our guests. As you all may have noticed, this year's Charmony Festival is far from regular. Thanks to the efforts of everyone, this celebration is unprecedented in scale, with factions from across the cosmos in attendance. Not only that, the customary opening ceremony held at the Penacony Grand Theater has now moved to the Radiant Feldspar, the very airship you all stand upon. We invite you to express your warmest applause and deepest appreciation for O.T. Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family, for his selfless devotion to the Harmony's cause. I am, in fact, wishy-washy. What makes this festival so uniquely significant? As is widely known, the Radiant Feldspar had to halt its voyage due to an anomaly in the Sweet Dream. Um, hold on. In the 12 hours. Okay, so actually, yeah, no, completely understandable, wishy-washy. Uh, though, real quick, it has been storming pretty much all day. And so when it comes to, like, the ASMR stream later, it may happen. It actually still may not, based off of my power. Uh, if my power, like, decides to not want to exist, I cannot stream. But other than that, I still fully plan to stream. I'm just putting that out there in case I don't. Everyone knows. internal and external factions we've finally gotten the dreamscape back on track just in time for the charmony festival and as they say good things come in pairs the charmony festival not only celebrates this achievement but also marks the relaunch of the radiant feldspar and finally the last reason does everyone remember the watchmaker in truth the family has poured their efforts into this festival just to commemorate this legendary luminary. The father of Penacony, Mikhail Chard Legwork, one of the legendary nameless who laid the foundations of Penacony. Ooh, Mikhail! In the most bewildering times of the planet of festivity, it was he who descended from the sky with his companions, who taught us through trailblazing where freedom lies. It was also they who led the vanguard in the pioneering of the dreamscape in exchange for what is now known as the paradise of harmony. It can be said that Penacony's splendid success today is deeply rooted in the trailblazing ethos the watchmaker planted within us. Only by honoring this trailblazing spirit can we fulfill our mission and spread harmony to a broader audience. Aww, that's so nice of her. She's talking about us. We haven't even been mentioned yet. Trailblaze, of course. If it weren't for everyone on the Astral Express, we wouldn't be able to successfully host this Charmony Festival. You know, it's mainly me, the the Galactic Baseballer. Me. Major lineages, um, <laughs> family. On behalf of all family members throughout the cosmos, offer a token of appreciation to the nameless. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a big one. We will transfer ownership of the Radiant Feldspar to the Astral Express. A meager appreciation that we hope you will accept with grace. Let us gift our applause and cheers to these brave and dauntless nameless. Nameless! Nameless! nameless. 
Nameless, nameless. That's that's us. I proposed a toast to harmony, to the trailblaze, to the future of Penacony and the universe, and to the generous Alfalfa family head, Mr. O.T. Alfalfa. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Sing. <laughs> to make a decision like that. This little bird is no less capable than her brother. <laughs> yes. Oh, the whole place is going to blow up. Yep. Oh yeah. Sorry, I've been waiting for this since the start of Pentagoni. When did this get shoved into my hands? Oh, I've been waiting for this since the start. Sorry. I can't handle this alone. Time to create a group and inform everyone. Sorry, Loon. I didn't mean to wake you. Report the situation about the bomb. Ah. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> what the fridge is wrong with you? <laughs> Finish building my firefly. Let's go, Miyuki. Proud of you. Wanna bet who will survive this adventure? Not the K! The K from Dr. Ratio, and then he leaves! All set. Let's start following the plan. <sighs> okay, where am I? I'm here. I love this. Oh my god. Great gray haired little one. So am I great or little? Honestly, yeah. Alter the lizard! Thank you for the 50 biddies! Where's two?
Sorry. Fuck. Don't. This constable doll finally falls silent. You open it up, more like tear it apart, though that sounds cruel, and uncover its true nature. A mere toy equipped with a remote speaker. Bad news. Bad news is I found 131 bombs. The good news is none of them are real bombs. Keep it up, everyone. Yippee, yippee, yippee. I made some progress. I've got to keep working at it. The other one is right over here. Sorry, getting that collectible is more important. <laughs> this firmer doll is a sparkle lookalike. According to the book compilation of sparkle vocabulary in modern and con contemporary times, the term firmer was first coined in 2005 AE on the sparkle planet in the sparkle star system. Its original meaning, it's fluffy. Nowadays, the inhabitants of sparkle planet often use firmer specifically to refer to plush dolls. In other words, firmer dolls translate to fluffy doll 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 doll. It may sound peculiar, but considering its sparkle origin, it actually makes a lot of sense. The firmer doll is staring right at you. Can I dismantle your bomb? The firmer doll continues to stare right at you. Can you speak, please? The firmer doll's eyes never blink. Honestly, if they did, it would be quite unsettling. Anyway, it's just an ordinary plush toy. Can you really expect it to utter a single word? If you don't speak, then your silent equates to consent. It must be pointed out that this doll has no suspicious features at all. It exudes from within an aura befitting of a firmer doll, not that of an imaginary neutron bomb, which means there's no need to bother it anymore. It makes, you, it makes both you and the doll appear rather pitiful. It's best to promptly put an end to, its, to this part. I, I skipped it. New message. Dad gum wubaboo, I give up. Next one is here. I need your help finding a bomb. It completely slipped my mind. Dr. Boom specializes in explosives. I need your help, miss. You've had quite a few run-ins with Dr. Boom. And with the recent bomb situation, you're bound to find evidence that proves Dr. Boom is the killer. Wow! The first case is the Soulblad factory arson case. We found a hammer, a doll, and half a liter of unidentified fluid at the scene of the crime. Our forensics results show it's a red herring. The second case is the Blue Hour auction robbery. A gang of masked thugs broke in, stole a fragment of the Astro Express, and left behind a large hammer, a doll, and a half-dead red herring at the scene. Whoa! Those are all the details. The way I see it, there must be a link between these two cases that will be the key to I trust in your deduction. Which piece of evidence do you think is the deciding? The bomb. It's you. You are at both crime scenes. Correct answer. Your zoom is very fair. Your mind is pretty sharp. Seeing as you put in so much effort, I'll throw you a bone. The bomb's not here. This is only a prank I have craftily set up. Hurry. Time's running out. 
You better find that real bomb quickly. Sparkle's voice faded, leaving behind the doll's body buzzing with white noise. It seems this pitiful doll was transformed into a megaphone by Sparkle. Okay, let's see over here. Where am I going? What way am I facing? Wrong way. This way. Hello! If you didn't know, I'm the one who directed the entire farce in Pentacony. As for being lady of the show, what did you think? Feel free to share your thoughts. Well, actually, due to the current plot requirements, you're only allowed to say one line. So, please try and resist the urge to share your thoughts. Uh... Right now, I just want to defuse the bomb and advance the plot. Oh no, the ad started! Ah! The harmless chatterbox plush doll bows affectionately to you, blowing a kiss before bounding away, vanishing into the depths of the cabin with joyful leaps. Holy forkin' shirt balls. Hold on, there's a collectible book right there. Where was the other one? At the very tippity tip. The very tippity tip. All right, I'll go take a look around then. No problem, of course. But if you don't want to go too far, I can also play a soothing tune for you in case you get bored. Okay. Now playing Never Give Up, Never Surrender by the trending superstar Ash Ripley. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. They will never say goodbye to you, never tell lies to hurt you. Praise. Uh huh. Did I just get Rick rolled by Sparkle? <laughs> did did I just get Rick rolled by Sparkle? I knew it. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Hi! 
please. I... Not much time left. I hope I make it. I don't have much... I... I kind of technically have to go. Guys, we have to end it here. Guys, we have to end it here. Guys, we do. We have to end it here. Guys! Uh, oh, man. Fuck. Okay, okay, yep. Self-control. 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 We do have to end it here, guys. We have to end it here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I have to go I have to go eat some food. I I haven't really eaten. I need to go eat some food. And well I ate breakfast. Anyway, I have to go eat some food and then I have to we're, we're, we're gonna be doing some ASMR. We're gonna be doing some ASMR tonight after I eat some food and uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not the odds. Not the yawns, not the E.B. Sleebies. Okay, guys. Guys, listen. Listen. Go ahead and claim those codes that are in the chat okay you get you get free stuff you get jades and stuff claim them claim them claim them they're free it's it's free it's it's there also if you've been here for a while don't forget to claim your drops don't worry i i will be sending you guys off somewhere nice and and safe with with drops so don't you worry don't you worry don't you worry Uh, I'm gonna send you guys over to Hex. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you guys over to Hex. It's been a minute since I raided Hex, I think. But, guys, thank you all for being here. I love you all oh so super duper very much, okay? Claim those codes. Claim the drops. If you haven't yet... Please join the Discord through that link there. You can get notified for when I go live, when I post on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, my... Oh, yeah, it did, okay. Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that good stuff. It's there. It's awesome. It's cool. We have weekly community events. Tomorrow, we're going to play some Overwatch. Uh, Saturday, we're going to be watching more free Rin for Discord anime night. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. Be there. Join. Check out all of my socials through that link there. That has my Patreon, Twitter, Discord, TikTok, YouTube, donation links, everything that is officially mine. Okay. Uh, go, go check them out. I do post on like YouTube and I upload all of my VODs and stuff. So if you would like to support me a bit more, there you go. It's, it's free. It helps me out. ASMR win later literally in like an hour okay the faster i go the faster you guys get asmr <laughs> of course if you would like to support me in any way shape or form you being here chatting following lurking is amazing i appreciate it super duper very much uh you could also sub or use your free amazon prime sub on little old me get ad free viewing tons of super duper cute emotes and special roles in the discord server if you would like to support me further, you can donate to me through that link there. All of that money goes directly towards me. It helps me fund things like the new model, PC upgrades, microphones, whatever it may be, games, food. It helps me out a ton. Or you can check out the wish list and contribute to those things more directly, whether it is to the new model or a game or whatever it may be it helps me out but it is never at all required okay if you would like to add me on honkai star rail there is my uid i do have support characters uh kafka uh black swan and acheron if you would like to use those and of course here is the raid message for you all go ahead and copy and paste it uh we're gonna be raiding hex juice i love hex juice 
I love them. I love them. And of course, they have drops on. There's the link for the drop information for Honkai Star Rail and all that stuff. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I will see you all tomorrow with Overwatch Community Games. And I will see you all later. Well, not all. Some of you later for our ASMR stream. Okay? I love you all. Have a good night if I do not see you later. And bye-bye.